Alright, so this is a vid on how to make fried chicken. These just so happen to be chicken tenders. Uh, but I've already seasoned them, I just used some soul food seasoning and some pepper. I just not I just don't happen to like their pepper that they put in there. Okay. So I'm gonna start off a little flimsy little piece right here. There's one right there. But it's so, okay, so you have you some flour out and you just take it you season it how you want it. Take it and just throw it into that flour. And you have some hot grease waiting on the side. There's a, what I've already cooked. And then you just take it and you just throw it off into the grease. So a bigger piece. This one. Sit there and see as you can see it's not you want it to be fully battered for good fried chicken. You want it to be battered to its fullest, because some of it's going to come off while it's frying anyway, so. Okay, again, get there and just throw it off into that good old flour, and there you go. You just take it, throw it off into there again. Now, I should have... How you know when it's done is you just you just grab it like this, right? And you should be able to look at it and see the the crispness of it. See how it's nice and crisp. Hey, I've been cooking for going a little over four. No, actually no, it's been longer than I've been cooking since I was about four. Oh yeah, four about four years old. So. Yeah, you you can trust me on this one. I'll probably be doing some more videos on how to fry catfish and whatever fish, actually. It all pretty much works on the same same thing. All right, so drop it off in there, and it it doesn't matter how you drop it off in there. You can throw it in there. I mean, I wouldn't, cause I mean it just creates a big mess with the grease all over your stove. See, I can see a little yellow spot. You're gonna get a little mess anyway from grease popping, but I mean, it's it's all about being clean. That matters. Be as clean as you can, unless you really don't care. I mean, <laughs> for me, it matters to me because whatever mess I make, I have to clean up. So, then what I'm gonna do is. Zoom it back out a bit there. Okay, so we'll just see how I'm just rotating it. That's because when you when you, if you just do both sides, you're not gonna get a lot of flour. You want that flour to stick in those little spots. Take it and see like just smother it off into there. Bit. And then you can just take it and now if it doesn't go all the way in, that's not a problem. Cause see, sooner or later the grease is gonna roll up. And there you go. <laughs> so this is what I've already cooked. Got a bit of barbecue sauce. Bit of spicy hot sauce that I've actually made myself. Bit of barbecue sauce. Yeah, so pretty good chicken. Uh tomorrow I'll be doing a video on snow plowing. How how you know how to snow plow. And how to snow plow. Pulls my tractor. I got that plow fitted for people who have been watching my other videos. So, yep, it's good to go. Alright, Shari and I just tune in. Subscribe, please.